Hello, it's Philip Taylor from Richmond Green Chambers speaking. I'm talking about an interesting book which I use because I actually practice in the county courts and I do uh, personal injury action work, contentious litigation mainly. It's this book here, Personal Injury Pleadings. That's a picture of it and this is the actual book. It's quite a heavy one. It runs into a very large number of pages, 1,750 odd altogether. You can see what it looks like from the inside. It's, it's a very detailed work, nice paragraph numbers at the bottom, various other things, a huge amount of detail about the individual types of pleading and details. If, for instance, this is about defences here, or various other stuff, and it then sets out the actual pleadings. Let me talk a little bit about the book and you can have a look at it. As I say, it's from the Sweet and Maxwell uh, stable, and I've given it the title on the internet I've said conveniently discreet PI pleadings, and that's what these are, because that's really the aim of the main author, Patrick Curran, Queen's Counsel, and his team. And the basic position is this, it's scarcely an exaggeration to say that personal injury claims can often be as painful as the injury itself. And this is an authoritative and definitive text which is designed to ease the process considerably, and I think it does that. Curran and his team have actually excelled with PI pleadings, which is now in its fourth edition, this one here. It's an indispensable reference work, certainly for people like me as counsel, who are involved in uh, quite a lot of drafting, uh, and it functions as a complete working manual uh, offering everything the busy practitioner, like myself, needs to settle pleadings in a, um, this type of claim. In the preface to this edition, Patrick Curran refers to the raison d'etre behind the book, quoting Lord Justice Dyson, who actually has said, it's fundamental to our adversarial system of justice that the parties should clearly identify the issues that arise in the litigation. The starting point must always be the pleadings. And any case I do, we always go back to the pleadings because that's what the judge will actually refer the parties to when they're actually being examined in chief or cross-examined. So the first edition of the book was therefore written some 15 years ago as a compendium, which is really a collection of pleadings, under discrete headings. And that's really where, where it sort of started off. And the pleadings here are actually illustrations from specific real cases, together with relevant legal principles extracted from the leading authorities of the day in both long-established and contemporary uh, case law. Curran makes an interesting point, in fact, in the book when he says that the modern search engines achieve miraculous speed in producing references, but he says, unhelpfully, they produce them by the thousand. And you'll know that from when you use the internet yourself. So, of course, there's no substitute for the human eye and for the discerning relevant point from the irrelevant. Um, obviously, it's important to do that, and that's the job of a, a lawyer. Hence the usefulness, of course, of this book. The table of contents at the beginning, I won't open it up again, they, they are actually a source of wonder, even to the general reader, I think because they contain, as they do, lengthy shopping lists, so to speak, of hundreds of the ghastly things that can befall us. Examples are, for instance, I've given them in the internet review, under, say, private individual's liability, you've got claimant barmaid injured when defendant's dog ran into her, causing her to fall, and another one under product liability, always a popular one for us when it comes to contentious litigation, Claimant suffered electric shock from hi-fi appliance and lemonade mould in bottle causing gastroenteritis, almost a bit like a snail in a certain bottle in Edinburgh. The book also contains pleadings from numerous other general topics, such as issues involving occupiers' liability, obviously covered by the, the legislation, and things like RTA liability and specific areas like sports injuries and injuries to animals or by animals. It also provides a selection of defences 
paired with specific pleadings and it excels for completeness and ease of law in that it lays out pleadings in contemporary style using plain English and of course it's updated to reflect the most recent changes to the civil procedure rules. Now for added versatility and convenience there's also a CD which is actually tucked in at the back here which contains all pleadings in electronic format organized by, chap uh, organized by chapter in the same way as the book so you can actually take the stuff off and it saves a lot of typing. And I've really come up with a conclusion to this. I thought with the restructuring of the work which is what the aim of this particular edition is the innovative, I get it right, new chapter on costs which has appeared, I think is extremely helpful. Obviously I'm going to refer to cook on costs and other things, but it's very useful to have it here. So the scope of the book itself has been widened to give conveniently discreet PI pleadings for the 21st century, and I'm very grateful to have it. So thank you, Patrick, and your team, and also Sweet and Maxwell. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.